hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you're watching this video from and when you're watching this video it's your boy El Zenito. i'm going to be sharing a particular um you know an amazing project with you now we've i don't know if you've seen this design but this particular design um 3d um shirt mock-up um i got it from one of um the one of an amazing um 3d artist i follow his name is brooke creative and i'm going to show you how it works then i'm going to also share the link to you know this video so you can also create your own shirt and use that effect <coughs> by the way we are going to be using photoshop and blender so and blender is free photoshop is not so blender you can just download it and use it so let's jump right into it now first thing first you need to have like a shirt um design you want to work with so for me i'm just going to go to um what's it called mid journey I want to do this in 10 minutes so i'm going to sign in all right i'm going to go to explore then i'm going to just pick any random design that i like right any random design at all so i like there's no time there's no time bro there's no time <laughs> so i like this one so just open it open in a new tab save your image <coughs> sorry excuse me now when you have saved your image now the file this is the file so this is how this is the file is called t shirt mockup brock creative so what you just need to do is come to your template here when you come to your template you will see this um stuff what you want to then do is this you are going to open your design you're going to open your design let me just open it here download this is our design right just drink um drag it into um photoshop you can turn off any other thing so just drag it into photoshop when you finish dragging it into photoshop let's say we want our shed we want this thing to be very very large like you know to come to cover everything so we can just you know extend it like this and then rasterize layer then clip it like this so it's going to be clipped into this effect <coughs> right now after clicking clip, clipping it into this effect because we only need this effect we don't need this white um, stuff you can just hold down control and select that layer that has the white um, shirt now when you have selected the layer that have the white shirt just select this original image this is our design itself and control j then you can turn off all this so this is standing alone as it is so you are turning back on go to all this text you can just change the text to this is going to be text um shirt so let's just change it let's just test shit <laughs> um yeah i'm just my last that's fine you can change the color as well to something similar to what is on the original shirt right and we can also change the color of this one to blend with what is already on the artwork itself all right now that's everything you need to do you can then put in any other design you want to put in here or here right random designs this is your um what's it called the sleeve part right why this is also the other side now this is your back view this is the front view so the back view you can put as many um design that you want it's not just a text you can put a design here as well so when you are done turn off the whites and leave it just like it is then save your work Control s now you're going to export you're going to export your file as jpeg now you can see this template copy copy just you know save it replace it and it's as simple as that when you finish replacing it you can then close down photoshop now when you close down photoshop you can come back to where you have the folder then when having installed your um, blender just open this blender file it's very very simple and straightforward All right but the only thing is when rendering you need to it depends on the rendering will be fast or slow depending on um the kind of system you use right so my own system is um a bit um what's it called fast so yeah that's it all right so this is what we would see 
right this is what we'll be seeing and if i turn on immediately i turn on viewport shading to see the viewport you can see it's already there right it's already there it's as simple as that and if i turn on um what's it called um the rendered view it's going to give me like the original vibe that i'm looking for and if i zoom in if i tilt it you can see this is our design this is our text and you can see by the side sorry let me just go back to this so that we don't get lost all right so i'm going to zoom in right yeah so by the side you can see you can see how it looks it looks very very clean and dope now to navigate i'm not here to talk about um, blender right but to navigate around hold down your this the um, what's it called this roll rolling part of your mouse right this um, mouse part of your mouse <laughs> i said mouse part the ruler right just this button this ruler button that's what you use in zooming in and out first off you can use it to zoom in and out first off then also you can use it to like just press it down and just move around like as if you are panning around or what you can then do is you can just use all these two so you can use this press down x or press down y or press down z because you know you're in a 3d space so it is x y z so yeah when you are done <clears throat> when you are done with what you have if you want to see how it's going to look like in the camera view just come down here you see your camera view click on it and this is exactly what you will see now when you are when you are ready to render just come down to your render and you'll see you can now another thing is this you can render as an image so you can post it or you can also render as a video an animation so if i play this watch you can see that it is turning around right so there's already an animation attached to it so when you render as animation okay let me explain how to render as animation first off render as image so just come to image render and it's going to render um depending on how fast your system is right my system is um quite fast so it's it's, it's not going to take so much time now bear in mind this is a very high definition settings right you can always reduce your setting if you have some idea about um, blender if you don't have an idea just just give it like one minute or less depending on the size of your system if your system is not so fast right if it's probably like four gigram just give it like probably five minutes but you'll get your rendered view you can see we have rendered our file and you can then come down to image and you can save it and just save it on your desktop as shit right so just save it and it's there already if i go to my desktop where is my desktop if i go to my desktop you can see this is my shirt very nice design now to render as animation i'll just explain sorry i'll just explain how it works um go to your blender now first come down to export um output sorry i said export i'm used to photoshop output now if you want to change it to um animation if you want to render as animation ensure your file format is fm mpg mpg video then also ensure that this is matroska and also ensure your video coding is h.264 now you can leave it as medium quality if your system is not so heavy or you can leave it as lawless um lossless if like for example if you're using my kind of system where you know it's, it's going to run fast and when you're done you can just come down to render animation and it's you're going to give it like you can see from here now it's going to take about um how many minutes about about 17 minutes or less to render so but i'm not going to spend time doing that so i'm just going to close it up and when you're done you can save your work you can always use this for several projects let's say you have a client that has like um you are doing a design project and you want to include um a shared mockup you don't necessarily have to have just one view you can have it in different views right so this is one way to do that all right uh, thank you very much for watching make sure you like subscribe and share and i'm going to see you next time